Welcome to Chris Budget Gears and Reviews, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Toolcraft Logo Premium 556 Nickel Boron Boat Carrier Group with Carpenter 158 Boat. Now, usually I don't do this unless I really got something that I want to get out there. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to do a little comparison of this boat carrier. And this $217 diamond light coated boat carrier I have. And why I think that this is a hell of a deal. And a better deal than that DLC coated boat carrier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the little um, picture up so you can see exactly which one it is that we're talking about. But here she go. Now the first thing that I instantly notice about this is how smooth this boat carrier is. This nickel boron finish is really smooth. If you never handled nickel boron before, I'm telling you, it is really smooth. Like the only way I could kind of explain it to you is just by taking my finger and just going back across the surface of it. And you can basically see how smooth my finger just slides across there. This nickel boron is really a smooth surface. So let's go ahead and take a deep look at it. And we will be taking it to the range this Saturday. So all we can do now is just kind of look at it. And just make sure everything is machined right. It looks how a boat carrier is supposed to look. Now this is about my third take doing this video. So everything looks how it's supposed to look. <laughs> but let's go ahead. Take a deeper look. I think when I turn the light off, it focuses a little bit more better. Take a look at the five and pin next. Look at the boat. Once again, Carpenter 158 MPI. Take a look at the boat face. Now I want y'all to check this out. This is how smooth the nickel ball on our surface is. I can literally just spin that in there. I like it. Once again, another quality Palm Middle Say Army product. And I think for now on, all my boat carriers are going to be uh, nickel boron. <clears throat> Smooth surface, I like it. Now, let's take a look at this one right here. Now, once again, there has been no functionality problems out of this. I put about five, six hundred rounds, boat carrier doing exactly what a boat carrier is supposed to do. This is the premium, this is the most expensive boat carrier they have. Total price of it is $217. I'll roll in a picture right there. I think the total price of this one, the base price is $99.99. They got it right now in stock. I think the total price is like $119. So you could basically almost get two of these for what this one costs right here. My feelings on this DLC coated, first off, it's not as smooth as this nickel boron. Like as I run my fingers side by side, it is not as smooth. I would only suggest the 
diamond light coated bulk carrier. If you have like an elaborate color scheme and you want your bulk carrier to match and look good, I can suggest a diamond light coated bulk carrier. But if that does not apply to you and you're just looking for a good quality bulk carrier, I don't see anything special about this that you should have to get this. I think this one right here will serve your purposes just as good. I really do. Because if I'm correct, I think both of these are basically the same thing. This is Carpenter 158. The only thing that's different, it has that diamond light coating on it. And it's not as smooth. And as you can see, um, carbon isn't just going to fall off that diamond light coated either. You know, you're still going to have to clean it, okay? <laughs> you're still going to have to clean it, trust me. Now, I know y'all looking like, Chris, why is your boat carrier like that? Every once in a while, what I like to do is I like to go to the range, run about 100 rounds. Once I take that rifle from the range, I let it sit for about a week. Then I go back the next week and I run another 100 rounds just to make sure that I can do a quick volley of 100 rounds. If there's a lull in the action or, you know what I'm saying, and I need to get busy again, that my rifle will still function, if you understand what I'm saying. So I like to do that every once in a while. I run 100 rounds. Let it stay dirty for a week. Go back the next week, run another 100, just to make sure that the rifle is still functioning if it's a little bit dirty. You know, kind of like that shit hit the fan testing, you know what I'm saying? Because you might get into a little firefight, and you got a bug out, you got to get into another little firefight. Just want to make sure that your firearm can function while it's a little bit dirty. So that's why the boat carrier dirty. But once again, like carbon and shit, it isn't just going to fall off this boat carrier. You know, you still gonna have to clean it, trust me. I'm gonna clean this a couple of times. You still gonna have to clean it, so I just can't justify spending two hundred seventeen dollars on a bow carrier if you isn't trying to have some kind of elaborate color scheme. You can just go with this one right here and you'll be just as fine. Just as good. I actually prefer this one more better by how slick this is. Now once again I'm not knocking this, you know. Diamond like coating, you know. It's $217 for a reason, but for me, uh, I really didn't need to spend $217 on it. I don't really see anything special about it. Carpenter 158, just like this one. It just got that coating on it. It looks good, don't get me wrong, it looks good, but I mean... But anyways, man, I just wanted to show y'all that, man. I like it, though. I really like this one, man. Y'all better jump on that, man, while they got these shits for like $100. Y'all better jump on this. I might scoop me up another one. I really like this right here. But that's it, though, man. We'll take it to the range on Saturday. Make sure everything functions good. Y'all be blessed. Be safe. I'm out. I'm going to sit here rubbing this boat carrier a little bit more, man. This shit just feel crazy. <laughs> It look like this will even make the rifle run faster, too. Hmm. Y'all be blessed. Be safe, man. I'm out.